What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Today, I'm actually gonna be doing my top 10 favorite hats in my collection. All 10 of these hats were either thrifted or found at the flea market. I'm gonna try to do my best to tell you which video it came from and how much I paid. If you guys are interested in going back and watching these videos, um, I will try to tell you which number they are in. So starting off with number 10, this one is pretty basic, but I find myself wearing this hat all the time because it goes with everything. It's this Dallas Cowboys Super Bowl 27 champion snapback right here. This one is actually by New Era. Pick this one up all the way back and tripped to the thrift number 88 ended up spending two dollars and 49 cents for this one coming in at number nine pick this one up in flea market grab number 137 for only a dollar and it's this frankfurt galaxy snapback right here by american needle really like the graphic on this one uh you can't go wrong with the black and purple that one's from 1991. On the back, you do have the World League logo. And like I said, uh, that one is by American Needle. Unfortunately, it does have a little bit of damage right here on the brim, as you can see, but I only paid a dollar for it, so you can't really complain. Coming in at number eight, pick this one up in flea market grabs number 119 for only five bucks, and it's this Dale Jarrett Shark Tooth snapback right here. I mentioned in that video, um, growing up, I, went, I used to go to my grandpa's house all the time. He was a big NASCAR fan. Um, and he hated Dale Jarrett, like with a passion. He loved Dale Earnhardt. So when I found this one, um, I definitely wanted to keep it just because it reminded me of that. Dale Jarrett spelled out on the front, number 88 with the double shark. NASCAR on that side. And then on the back, you got Ford Quality Care. And that one is actually a Logo 7. That one was number eight. Coming in at number seven, this one I only paid five bucks for. And this one came from Flea Market Grabs number 132. And it is this Nike Chicago Bulls pinwheel hat right here. So I'm still not 100% sure if this is even an authentic hat. Uh, it kind of gives me like a bootleg -y vibe to it. Um, but either way, I still really like it. Still a dope hat. It has got like the Nike spelt out on the front with the pinwheels. Little Nike logo right there on the brim. On the side, you do have the Chicago Bull. And then on the back, you have that Nike Snap with the little Nike tab. And then again, the pinwheel Nike. Um, and then Nike on the side. There is the tag on the inside. Green underbrim. And uh, like I said, five bucks. You can never go wrong with a black, white, and red colorway. Coming in at number six. Um, this one is the only one on the list that I can't find the video that it came from. Um, but I'm pretty sure I paid five bucks for this hat. I'm pretty sure I found it with my friend when I went to the flea market. This is Dallas Cowboys hat right here by Anco. You got the cowboy arch on the front going over the star. And then of course you got the Super Bowls going all the way around the hat. Tags on the inside, the Anco hat. I've had this hat before, but this is definitely the one in the best shape that I've ever found. And that's why I ended up keeping this one. And this is another hat that has a lot of wearability because uh, it's just a simple black and blue hat. So that's why it's so high up on my list. We get into the top five. Coming in at number five, from Flea Market Grabs number 126, and I only paid a dollar for it. And this is a hat that I had been looking for for a while up to that point. And I finally found it. It's a Super Bowl 30 Dallas Cowboys champion hat. I've just been a huge fan of this hat, just the graphics and everything on it, how you have the sun with the big cactus, the star, Super Bowl 30. And then, of course, that one's by Logo Athletic. And on the back, you got the Super Bowl 30. This one was actually dead stock when I found it. So to get a dead stock hat like this for only a buck uh, was a great deal. As you can see, I already pulled the tags off and I've worn it a couple times. Coming in at number four, this comes from Flea Market Grabs number 142. Paid $2.50 for this one. Um, it kind of sounds like a weird number to pay at the flea market, but it's because I had got four hats for 10 bucks. So I kind of divided it and... Um, yeah, this one was 250. But it's this 1993 NBA World Champion Chicago Bulls hat. Now one is by Starter. So on the front you got the NBA World Champions 1991, 1992, and 1993. This was the first three peat. And then on the back you got the Starter logo. And then on the inside there you go, Starter, the classic. And another hat with a lot of wearability. Like I said, you can't go wrong with black, white, and red. This is one that gets a lot of wear. And in the number three, this hat is actually the only hat on the list that didn't come from a flea market or a thrift store. This one actually came from my recent trip to the DFW Vintage Swap Meet. Shout out Lone Star Vintage on Instagram. Definitely go follow him. He actually gave me this hat for only 20 bucks. And even though it's kind of a recent pickup, um, it's definitely one of my favorite hats in my collection now. And it's this Super Bowl 29 shark tooth snapback right here. But what I really like about this one is the colorway. As you can see, it's black and pink. You got the Super Bowl 29 right there on the front, dated 1994. This one is by Logo Athletic as well. And on the side in like a U UNC blue, you have the limited edition. And there is the Logo Athletic tag. So like I said, this is uh, definitely a newer one in my collection. This one climbed the ranks really fast as being one of my favorite hats in my collection. Coming in at number two, this comes from Flea Market Grabs number 133. Paid five bucks for this hat as well. 
and it is the Dallas Cowboys shark tooth right here. This is one that I have been on the hunt for for a while. Um, I finally found one. As you can see, you got the logo athletic tag right there on the side. On the back, you have the pro line. Pro line on the inside, and then you got the logo athletic on that side. So shout out to the dude who sold me this one. Uh, he knew what he had, uh, but he gave it to me for super cheap because it was uh, pretty dirty and beat up, but I actually cleaned it up. Um, I actually wore it the following week when I went and he asked me if this was the same hat because it looked completely different um, And then he told me he wished he Kylan would have kept it if he knew it could look this good again <laughs> So shout out to him for giving me a great deal on this hat um, Even though he knew what it was worth and again This is one in my collection. That I just wear a lot and then coming in at number one again This is a recent pickup uh, from not too long ago. This is definitely my favorite hat in my collection now. Uh, probably the hat that I got the most messages about when I found it on Instagram asking if they could buy it. And this comes from Trip to the Thrift number 141. Paid $2.99 for this hat, so basically three bucks. And it's the Dallas Cowboys Splash snapback right here by Logo Athletic. So as you can see, you got the blue with the green and black splash. That old school Mavs cowboy hat logo. And then you got the Dallas Mavericks spelled out right there. Blue logo athletic, NBA logo on the back, gray underbrim, and then there's the logo athletic tag. Feels super clean too. But like I was saying, um, I had so many people hit me up about this hat on Instagram, on YouTube. Um, everybody was trying to buy it from me. <laughs> but uh, this is definitely one that I'm going to be holding on to because, uh, yeah, as this video proves, it's my favorite hat in my collection. So there you have it, guys. My top 10 hats in my collection. I know there probably wasn't a lot of heat in this video, but these are personally just my favorite, the ones that I wear a lot. Let me know down in the comments which one was your favorite, and I will see you guys soon with another video, so later.